Hi guys, today I want to talk about something else than uh, software, I want to talk hardware. So you probably all have a collection of uh, these, which is the clamp for Pogo, where you can attach your uh, controller. Now the original one, it's beautiful, it has this plastic piece here, and even though uh, you tell everybody, hey, only snag fit, they kept on pressing on it, pressing on it, they'll throw it in the back of the truck. And what you end up, what's end up happening is that you snap it off. So there is no more uh, this plastic piece. Now, when you, ha you don't have this plastic piece, you keep on using it, you keep on using it, and you penetrate your pogo which is a problem so uh, at this point I have looked into my uh, shelf and uh, fig tried to figure it out uh, how to fix this and on one of my shelves there is a 3d printer so what you need to do is you take it out take a drill and drill drill it out or pull out the reminder of the plastic piece then you put it back in and as you can see on the screen uh, there is uh, the 3d printer i have designed a little piece which is um, i have designed a little piece on uh, fusion 360 which is exactly what you need to put in and you just nicely put it in there and screw it on It will fit in beautifully. Few seconds. Voila. Obviously, I used the orange one, so why not, right? I already had the orange in my 3D printer. And look at this. So you have original here the, with the white, and here is my fake with the uh, orange uh, PLA or. Uh, the other stuff now uh, it took about 12 minutes to print it took about uh, I don't know, 15 minutes to design but uh, all these which were before useless now they are gonna be repurposed and shipped out into the field so save myself a few bucks if you are interested to get the STL file I'm gonna prepare a quick landing page where you can just uh, type in your email and uh, it will be automatically sent to you so uh, hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next video